Welcome to our video presentation of Rational Developer for Z with EGL. In this video, we're going to create WSDL and WSBind documents for a CICS COBOL web service on System Z. We're going to work without a live connection to ZOS. We have already created a folder called TimeW, and we've imported COBOL source code. Now, we right-click on the COBOL source code and select the Enable Enterprise Web Service option. That brings up the launch pad. When we start with the COBOL source code, the default options for the launch pad are correct. We look for the words bottom up and service provider. And yes, we want to save generation property. When we click the start button, the launch pad is going to launch a wizard. The wizard is the web services for CICS create new service interface bottom up wizard. First, we'll look at the request language structure. In the COBOL program, the request language structure is called time request, and the one field is called time pause. In the response language structure, the COBOL program has a structure called time response, and the one field is time timestamp. Press the next button. The name of the program comes from the name of our COBOL program, and this is the program that's registered at CICS. Now the program interface that we're going to be using is COM area. For service properties, we want to replace the word server with the name of our server, which is lab.gchii.org, and the port with the name of our port, which is 8080. The rest of it looks pretty good. And we'll click the next button. The target artifacts will be generated by the wizard. We want to overwrite existing files if necessary. It's going to create the WSDL document for us, the WSBind document for us, and it's going to create a log file. Under properties, it's going to create a number of different properties. We want to overwrite existing files. Those are the properties it will create. And click finish. So the wizard goes about creating the, the target artifacts. Since we started out in the TimeW folder, the artifacts will be created in the TimeW folder. So there's our original source code, and now we have a log file, a WSBind file, and a WSDL file. Let's look at the WSDL. Inside the WSDL file is the host and port that, that we typed in, and also it shows the, under input, it shows the request and under output, it shows the response. So this WSDL file can be used by a number of different tools on a number of different platforms to be able to invoke the web service on ZOS. Now that we've taken a look at the WSDL file, let's take a look at the WSBind file. The WSBind file contains the information that's created by the wizard. We can confirm that we, yes, created a service provider, and it has the right URI, and it shows us the name of the operations that we've defined. The program name is the name that's registered with CICS, and the program interface is COM area. So these things look correct. The WSBind document is the file that we would actually upload to the System Z to the pickup directory of an incoming pipeline, such as EX Pipe 01. Thanks for watching.